You know, the Marshalls in Grand Rapids was like one third the size of this Marshalls in this small town. It's beautiful here. So that's what Desi's been doing on this side. He's been posing for pillows. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Those are the colors of my kitchen. That's very beautiful. I love it. I love the funky wood frame. That's really cool. You came in like a storm with no one in, swept me off my feet. It was a deadly dance, and I knew if I stayed, I would never leave. Cause you had my heart in your hands, soft like a summer, and then it was a deadly dance, and I knew if I stayed, I I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good, safe week. And thank you so much for sharing your life last week on the video that I did on what are some of your biggest challenges. And I was so moved and so touched that we share so many of the same challenges. And I, I read the comments and even though I felt a wistfulness and a sadness, I, I still felt a camaraderie with you that I've never felt before because we share these same challenges and it made me feel not so alone. I want to have some fun this week and I want to decorate my house with you. You give me so many great tips, but you know, I have found out that decorating a home compared to an apartment is, well, those are two different worlds. I love decorating my apartments, but I only had so much space and so many options because it was owned by somebody else. Well, <laughs> even though I have a small cottage here, well, there's a lot of things that I want, a lot of uh, different things I want to do to each room. and. If I did all the things that I wanted to do, well, that would be like me climbing a mountain and just throwing my money into the wind and watching it fly away. So, I have to set priorities. What are the three top things I wanna change in my house to make me happy? <laughs> that sounded so bad, didn't it? Like, I'm so spoiled. Anyway. So what I was doing, I was rushing around and I was working on the front porch and I was working on the backyard. I was working on my dressing room and then I was just going nowhere. I was just getting sort of exhausted because I hadn't set my priorities. What are the top three things I want to change? And I didn't know. I knew I wanted to change a hundred different things. Well, I can't change a hundred different things. So I got it down to three things. And that's what I'm going to do this summer. And then I'm going to be mellow. I'm going to relax. Do you believe me? No, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I think the plants are just loving it out here. And my plant in the red pot, I showed it in the beginning of the video out in the rainstorm in my old apartment three years ago. Look at this little sweetheart. She's just sitting here. She's come a long way. And it's not raining anymore. My priorities, number one, is this house is painted all white. Now, I like white, but, you know, I have cataracts. I have floaters. I need color and shapes, you know. 
I'm no spring chicken. I can't take all that white. Have you ever seen these home tours where everything is white? Even the dog is white. The pillows are white. The sofa. Okay, I'll stop. I can't take all that white. I love color. That's why I love planting in the gardens. Planting in, in my gardens, you know, you have reds and yellows and greens. So I'm thinking when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see is white walls in my bedroom. And then around the corner is a white hallway and a white arch. And Okay. <laughs> my priority is to paint my bedroom and paint the hallway. And that, when I wake up in the morning, that is going to make me so happy because I'm thinking very warm yellows or my very favorite green shades and maybe an accent color in my bedroom. I, I'm not sure, or maybe taking the risk of just painting the trim in my bedroom, but I got the most beautiful new quilt for my bedroom. And it has beautiful deep yellows and greens. And so I'm thinking maybe I could just paint the trim in there. Now I know that's a very risky thing to do and it, it's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. It's kind of a 1940s type vibe. But I wanna take you in there and kind of show you what I'm talking about. This is my new quilt that I'm kind of basing some of my colors off of, the greens and the yellows. But I don't want to go granny chic, but I thought it would be fun to kind of hit that 1940 type vibe for my bedroom. I think it'd be beautiful. I've kind of fallen in love with my glass table here in the dining room, so I probably am not going to go ahead and get a wood table. But you all gave me a wonderful tip that I can I changed the ambiance of my dining room with just the right tablecloth. So that's what I'm going to do for Christmas and Thanksgiving. As you see in the corner, I took away the large uh, seven foot fig tree and I replaced it with a much smaller, daintier one. It opens up an area now where I can have another piece of art and Christina's world. I can see her now and I like that. Behind my navy sofa, I added a very rustic side table. And I'm not sure whether I should paint it or not, but I love it that it's sort of rugged. It's made from distressed recycled wood, and there's just something about it that I just love. Do you see how distressed that is? It could be painted. It could just be left like it is. I mean, there's so many things you could do with a side table like this. I think it's just so pretty. Oh, there's something about mid-century modern, the openness of it, I just really love. So I gravitate towards the. My second priority is my backyard. And I sat out there a couple weeks ago and I almost cried. It looks so terrible and I made the decision that I wasn't going to build a privacy fence so I can see my neighbors and they can see me. My son looked at my backyard and he said the very first thing he'd do is build a privacy fence and I said no honey I'm just going to plant these really beautiful flowering spireas and they're going to be my fence and he said yeah in five years. <laughs> And I realized he's, he's right. <laughs> I felt sort of defeated. And then I realized, okay, wait a minute. What's the rush? Where's the fire? And how about let's do this. If my priority is the backyard, let's lump the little sunroom that overlooks the backyard. So let's call that priority number two. Because the sunroom is something that I can control a lot easier especially on my back. <laughs> I can control that easier than I can my backyard. After I put the spireas in and the hydrangeas, I, I kind of sat back and I knew it didn't look good, but it will. I'm going in the right direction. And that's all that matters. As long as we're doing things to our apartment or our home that we can afford, but that fit into our box of priorities, 
yeah, that's perfect. We're going in the right direction. That's all we need in, in decorating or maybe just life in general. <laughs> Isn't that an amazing shovel? It will go through anything. I got that off of HSN. It's my smart shovel. <laughs> These are the flowering spireas that I bought off of Amazon. I got two of these. I tried to get more, but it's only two per customer. And wow, look at the height on that. I was surprised when these came. They look so healthy and they're very easy to plant in the ground. So I'm kind of excited to see if they take off. This room is going to be a lot of fun to decorate and I found that this beautiful indoor outdoor rug, I'll link it below, it's the most beautiful rug I think I've ever owned. The greens and golds, it's just beautiful. Shannon I got the most beautiful housewarming gift look at all this this is a holder for my K cups and almost every single cup is cappuccino <laughs> my last priority is my dressing room and it's sort of glum the way it is now of course it's all white my bar that I hang my clothes on is a little bit too low, so some of my pantsuits or my dresses kind of hit the floor, so I have to change that. But when I first moved here, I was doing my makeup downstairs or upstairs, but now I want to do it upstairs because it's more glamorous up there. And I know, doesn't that sound silly? But I'm thinking, when I have to put on my makeup or curl my hair or put on a fancy outfit usually that means I'm going somewhere special and I feel anxiety I have a little bit of social anxiety I guess I mean I do fine once I'm there it's just the dread of going so when I'm sitting and I'm putting on my makeup or debating what outfit to wear I, I would like to look at the wall and, and see all the lovely ladies that I looked up to when I was a little girl. So when I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety and my hand is shaking maybe just a little bit when I put on my mascara and I'm wondering how's, how's the party gonna be today? It's fun to look up and see Lauren Bacall or Marilyn Monroe or Audrey Hepburn all, all the ladies that when I was a little girl, I, I thought, well, maybe I'll grow up to be pretty like them and I'll have those beautiful diamond earrings and I'll dance with Fred Astaire. I don't know. All I'm trying to say is that's a priority to me. That's good for my soul because if I can relax and be happy when I'm getting ready for the world to see me, well, that's half the battle for me. I even ordered one of those little director's chairs for my dressing room so I can sit in a little director's chair with my little white robe and put on my makeup and, and feel I'm the toast of the town. And no, I'm not the toast of the town. I realize that. But I feel like that. <laughs> in your hand, soft like a summer was a deadly dance and I knew if I stayed I wouldn't stand a chance Thunder, lightning hit me, struck me right in the side of mine I was bound to fall down into your wildness You picked me up and hit me right in the side There seems to be so many challenges that we all face. 
And one thing I remember three years ago when I moved, I remember those first couple months, it was a lot of adjusting. And I had a lot of fear and I had a lot of anxiety. And for me to get through those months of wondering if I could make it in a new place, if I could afford my apartment, I was very good to myself. And by that, I mean all those rules that I put down for myself. You have to exercise, you have to take your vitamins, no carbohydrates, and you can't do this, and you can't do that. And all the rules that I have for myself, I must exfoliate my skin, I have to uh, put a hair mask on, forget it. <laughs> I just said screw it. I had hot dogs on buns. I had cheeseburgers. I had all kinds. I ate all kinds of things I wasn't supposed to eat. And I had fun. I had pizza. I, I exercised when I wanted. But, you know, moving, you're going to exercise anyway. My point is we live these lives where we have so many obligations and we have commitments. And... We can say that we don't care what people think, but we do. I mean, we all care in different degrees, but nobody likes to be laughed at. Nobody likes to be singled out. We women and men, we like to do the right thing. And sometimes doing the right thing is the hardest thing to do. And so often we don't do the right thing for ourselves. I, I allowed myself to stay up a little bit later and, and watch The Golden Girls or Frasier or, or Friends or some old show that I used to love when life was new and my whole life was ahead of me. Just crazy stuff just to be good to myself, to allow myself time. And I always say to myself, yeah, I'll fix that. I'll get to that. I'll fix it. I'll figure it out. I say that to myself about a hundred times a day. I'll figure it out because I know I will. And you'll figure it out because I know you will. I have so much love and faith in you and you have shown me the way out of so many jams that I have gotten myself in the last eight years. One of the reasons I love being here with you so much is you tell me about your life. And when I look around and, and I want to see women my age, you know, 68, 70, 78, I, when I want to see how real women are living, there's nothing we're not in the movies and we're, we're not on commercials. We're, oh, we're on commercials. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. But we haven't fallen and we always get up. And maybe slowly but surely, women our age will begin to be seen again and heard. I think we are moving in the right direction. I went into Target the other day and the posters on the wall were all women my age looking pretty sassy. I felt so good about that. Like, things are changing and I want to be part of it. Oh my goodness, Desi is having so much fun. He is truly king of his backyard. He knows every inch of that backyard. Desi, what was that? Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. And if you get a chance below, could you tell me what your priority is for where you're living right now? 
Please have yourself a wonderful, happy, safe, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. Look at this little sweetheart. She's just sitting here. She's come a long way and it's not raining anymore.